टॉप ट्वेंटी रिपोर्टर्स की शुरुआत करते हैं सीधे चलते विदेश मंत्रालय की प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में गुड एंड सब्सटैंटिव मीटिंग्स विथ ऑल एट लीडर्स हु आर विजिटिंग इंडिया ही थैंक ईच ऑफ देम फॉर द ग्रेशियसनेस in accepting his invitation to attend the ceremony of oath taking and noted that this was a celebration of democracy in the region enriched by their presence in his meeting with president karzai of afghanistan pm thanked afghanistan for the assistance provided by the afghan national security forces in repelling the attack on our consulate in herat he said that the attack only strengthened our resolve to work together with afghanistan he reiterated india's commitment to the development and reconstruction of afghanistan and india's interest in seeing a prosperous independent and sovereign afghanistan where the reconciliation process would be afghan led afghan owned and afghan controlled in his meeting with prime minister shering topge of bhutan PM conveyed his warm greetings and respects to his majesty the king of bhutan he noted that india and bhutan share a unique and special relationship with long standing historical and cultural linkages he assured pm topke of india's unflinching support for bhutan's socio economic development the two prime ministers agreed to commence four new joint venture hydroelectric projects with a generating capacity of 2120 megawatts in bhutan they affirmed their mutual security interests and agreed to closely coordinate and cooperate on issues relating to their national interest prime minister conveyed to president abdullah yamin of maldives the high importance attached by india to its relations with the maldives and pledged to work towards further enhancing bilateral cooperation Prime Minister noted that the two countries had a shared recognition that the security interests of both countries were interlinked and agreed that each side would continue to be sensitive to the concerns of the other on the issue and that their respective territories would not be allowed to be used by any quarter for any activity inimical to the other it was agreed to take measures to further strengthen investment and trade cooperation as well as cooperation in projects that would strengthen regional and sub-regional transport and connectivity to mutual advantage prime minister expressed government support to cooperation in the petroleum and natural gas sector particularly in oil exploration as well as in the tourism and education sectors prime minister recalled the special and unique relationship between india and mauritius in his meeting with prime minister dr navin chandra ramgulam of mauritius he noted that the two countries are bound together by history common ancestry and kinship of their people both leaders agreed to further strengthen the relationship especially economic cooperation and interactions in the field of maritime security renewable energy and the blue economy including development of related infrastructure they also agreed to work together with all other member countries in further strengthening the indian ocean rim association in his meeting with prime minister sushil koirala of nepal pm noted that nepal was an old and deeply valued friend with whom india shared history geography and ancient civilizational ties and it was his earnest desire to visit nepal this year prime minister expressed his appreciation for the political progress achieved in nepal and conveyed his sincere hope that the constitution would be adopted in the one year time frame that nepal had set for itself he expressed his determination to further strengthen connectivity and economic interlinkages between india and nepal including through projects for rail and road connectivity pm stressed the importance of expediting implementation of these projects and particularly projects in the hydro power and transmission sectors he thanked nepal for the ongoing security cooperation between law enforcement agencies on both sides which both sides are resolved to strengthen even further in his meeting with president mahinda rajapaksa of sri lanka PM noted that India valued its relations with Sri Lanka he requested the government of Sri Lanka to expedite the process of national reconciliation in a manner 
that meets the aspirations of the Tamil community for a life of equality, justice, peace and dignity in a united Sri Lanka. Early and full implementation of the 13th Amendment and going beyond would contribute to this process. They also discussed the fishermen's issue, India's development assistance program and economic and commercial cooperation. In particular, PM expressed interest in early launch of the 500 megawatt Sampur coal power project and greater connectivity between the two countries. Both leaders reiterated their desire to further strengthen bilateral relations. In the meeting with Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif of Pakistan, PM underlined our concerns relating to terrorism. It was conveyed that Pakistan must abide by its commitment to prevent its territory and territory under its control from being used for terrorism against India. We also expect that necessary steps will be taken in the Mumbai terror attack trial underway in Pakistan to ensure speedy progress of the case and the conviction of those responsible. The PMs agreed that the foreign secretaries will remain in touch and explore how to move forward. PM said that the two countries would move immediately, could move immediately towards full trade normalization on the basis of the September 2012 roadmap. PM expressed his hope that India-Pakistan relations would progress in the economic, cultural and political fields in the same manner that India's relations with her other SARC neighbors have progressed in recent years. He shared his vision of a SARC region built on partnerships for development and mutual prosperity. Prime Minister requested Speaker of Bangladesh Parliament, Dr. Shireen Sharmin Chowdhury, to convey his warm greetings and best wishes to Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina of Bangladesh and said that he looked forward to receiving her in India at an early date. He recalled our strong relations rooted in shared struggle, history, culture, and language. He noted that we have shared stakes in each other's progress and prosperity, and Bangladesh was India's largest trading partner in SARC. He appreciated the cooperation extended by Bangladesh to work together with India in all areas of mutual interest, including security, power, border management, rail and road transport. He expressed the commitment of Government of India in maintaining and building upon the momentum that has characterized India-Bangladesh relations in recent years. To sum up, Prime Minister had good and substantive meetings with all the eight leaders. The visiting dignitaries expressed appreciation for PM's gesture in inviting the leaders of SARC and Mauritius to India for the oath-taking ceremony, and for PM's focus on SARC and his ideas on further strengthening regional cooperation. The meetings were held in a friendly and constructive atmosphere. From India's perspective, a strong and promising beginning has been made at the start of the new government in our engagement with each of the countries in the South Asian region and with Mauritius. Thank you. Yeah, um, since there were eight meetings, let's go uh, in a sequential order of the meetings. So let's first take up those meetings that were held earlier in the morning uh, that related to the three precedents because that was the protocol order that we followed. So if you have any questions on those, we will take those first and then move down the order. So um, any questions relating to Afghanistan? Yes, Gaurav, just a minute. Please wait for the mic and then. Uh, Foreign Secretary, did the Afghan President uh, talk about the Hirat attack and who uh, they suspected were behind this? And did the Prime Minister then uh, raise this uh, with those who we suspect were behind this? I understand, I understand that you were the person who conducted the TV interview with President Karzai. So he's already told you what he felt was 
the case in the matter. Now, Gaurav, one question, we are coming one by one to it. Um, we are now focused on the three presidents. We'll answer those questions. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, please speak it up. I'm repeating just a Gaurav question that in this word of exchange, is there a, any discussion upon the, this Afghanistan Herat attack? Who is behind it? Look, President Karzai has already made his views known in the interview that he gave yesterday. And yes, there was a discussion on Herat in his meeting with Prime Minister Modi. Yes, just a minute, Anshar. Just wait on, please. Let the mic. Could you please elaborate a little on what President Karzai really shared as far as the Herat attack is concerned? If not, then tell us. I mean, but we would like to know. I'm sorry. Did I'm you? not going to go into details in a verbatim manner as to what was shared between the two leaders. Anyone else on any of the presidents? Uh, yes, sure, just a minute. Just a minute, the mic. अफगानिस्तान से अभी पाकिस्तान अमेरिका की सेना जाने वाली है और ये पता चला है कि अफगानिस्तान में ओबामा की एक विजिट हुई है रिसेंटली और ओबामा ने चिंता व्यक्त की है कि सेना जाने के बाद वहां पर सिक्योरिटी की प्रॉब्लम्स बहुत ज्यादा हो सकती है जो भारत के लिए भी चिंता का विषय हो सकता है तो इस बारे में कुछ कोऑपरेशन बढ़ाने के लिए या जो कुछ भी बात थोड़ा सा आप बताएं मतलब You are aware that we are deeply involved in Afghanistan. We have uh, a substantive aid assistance package. We are implementing several economic projects. And we are also um, have good cooperation with the Afghan National Security Forces in training as well as other areas. We expect this cooperation to increase in the days to come. And we have every confidence that they will redeem themselves and do well in safeguarding Afghanistan's interests exactly in the manner that they came to our assistance in the attack on our consulate in Herat. Sunjay, would you like to ask on Afghanistan? Yes, just a minute. Oh, Ma'am, uh Mr. Karzai has told uh, uh, times now that Mullah Omar is currently in Quetta. Now, does the Indian government have similar information on this issue? Shinjoy, we are here today to talk about the Prime Minister's meetings with his eight counterparts who came over here at his invitation. We are not here to talk about whether Mullah Omar is in Pakistan or not. I'll leave it at that. Mr. Venkat Narayan? Uh, Mr. Singh, <coughs> all the SARC leaders are meeting for the first time three years after the Malay summit and Nepal is supposed to host the 18th summit in November. By any chance, any of them took up any issues concerning SARC or giving it, you know, some kind of a push in the coming months so that it produces some positive results. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, as a matter of fact, the leader who took it up the strongest was our Prime Minister. In each of his meetings, he talked about the idea of SARC and how we should use SARC to improve regional cooperation and connectivity, and how each country in SARC has its own specific strengths and opportunities. And he said that we should learn from each other's best practices. For instance, microfinance in Bangladesh. And I must say that the other leaders responded very warmly to this suggestion and agreed with him wholeheartedly. 
that this was something और यहाँ टीवी समाधा अभिषेक इस वक्त हमारे साथ जुड़ चुके हैं अभिषेक सबसे महत्वपूर्ण बात ये कि आखिर पाकिस्तान के साथ आतंकवाद का मुद्दा उठाया गया और ये भी याद दिलाया कि पाकिस्तान को आतंकवाद पर किया गया वादा भी जल्द पूरा करना चाहिए देखिए ये बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है इसके पहले भी आपसे बात हो रही थी तो मैंने ये बात कही थी कि आप आतंकवाद का मुद्दा उठना तय था आतंकवाद का मुद्दा उठाया गया है और बहुत ही जोर शोर से उठाया गया और मैं आपको एक बात और बता दूं कि अभी जो इतना टाइम लग रहा है हमको नवाज शरीफ को अपनी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करनी थी उससे करीब तकरीबन जो है एक घंटे का वक्त हो चुका है और अभी शुरू नहीं हो पाई उसकी वजह मेन यही है कि वो अभी अपना ब्रीफ तैयार कर रहे हैं कि आखिरकार वो क्या किस लाइन पर पाकिस्तान रिस्पॉन्ड करेगा जो जिस तरह से प्रतिक्रिया आई है हिंदुस्तान की ओर से कि उसने टेररिज्म पर अपना रखा है चूंकि एक पोजीशन अगर इंडिया की आतंकवाद पर तो पाकिस्तान की भी अपनी एक पोजीशन है तो ये एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है कि भारत ने इस मुद्दे को उठाया और मैं आपको एक बात और बताऊं कि इस बात के भी कयास कूटनीतिक हल्कों में थे कि चूंकि ये एक शुरुआत है शिष्टाचार वाली मुलाकात है तो शायद भारत इस मुद्दे को ना उठाए ये एक 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 कूटनीतिक हल्कों में चर्चा थी और कि इस इस पूरे इस मौके को सिर्फ एक शिष्टाचार की मुलाकात तक ही सीमित रखा जाएगा लेकिन भारत ने ये मुद्दा उठाया ये बहुत मायने रखता है और इसका मतलब बड़ा सीधा दोनों देश आपसी विश्वास पर जोर दें और जिस तरह से व्यापार को लेकर भी आज की इस मुलाकात में चर्चा की गई बिल्कुल मतलब ये अपने आप में बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है कि इश्यू भारत ने ये रेस किया ये बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है और आपसी विश्वास के जो जो कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्डिंग मेजर की बात होती है वो तो हमेशा से भारत का एजेंडा रहा है कि कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्डिंग मेजर होने चाहिए और वो उसकी बहुत हद तक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी भारत पाकिस्तान पर डालता है कि पाकिस्तान को उसकी जवाबदेही सुनिश्चित करनी है और व्यापार के बारे में अभी तक पाकिस्तान ने मोस्ट फेवर्ड नेशन का दर्जा भारत को नहीं दिया है जबकि भारत दे चुका है और ये लगातार मांग उठती रही है कि उसके चलते दोनों देशों के बीच में व्यापार का टर्न बहुत ही ज्यादा प्रभावित हो रहा है तो ये सारे इश्यूज है और पाकिस्तान इन इश्यूज पर लगातार चलता रहा है और एक बात मैं आपको और बता दूं कि पाकिस्तान सारे मुद्दों को उठा के कश्मीर से लिंक करता रहा है और भारत का इशू ये रहा है कि आप आतंकवाद के इशू पर कोई ठोस समाधान लेकर के आइए कोई ठोस पहल कीजिए और साथ में व्यापार में भी बराबरी के रिश्ते रखिए तो ये दोनों बातें भारत ने की है ये बहुत मायने रखती है और इसके बाद जो रास्ता बढ़ेगा चाहे वो फॉरन सेक्रेटरी लेवल के टॉक्स हो आगे जिनकी संभावना बन रही है या फिर और हाई लेवल पर टॉक्स हो वहां पर ये जो बातचीत है ये बातचीत बुनियाद की तरह से काम करेगी कि इस बातचीत के आगे का बिल्डअप देखना है कि इस बातचीत के कितना आगे जाते हैं तो एक तरह से हम कह सकते हैं कि एक नींव रख दी है कूटनीतिक बातचीत की नींव भारत ने रख दी है आज चलिए आप हमारे साथ बने रहें तो क्या मुलाकात में बड़ी बातें सामने आई नवाज शरीफ के साथ प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी की इस बारे में डिटेल जानकारी दे रहे हैं इंडिया टीवी समाता अभिषेक उपाध्याय इस बीच विदेश मंत्रालय की तरफ से प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस लगातार जारी है एक बार फिर से रुख करते हैं इसी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस का and um, no there was no discussion about the uproar i don't see why they should be it's something that's internal to us yes sir my what is the reaction of the rajabakshi president rajabakshi regarding the amendment of 13th amendment for the last 25 years more than 25 years the both the governments are having a dialogue about the implementation of this amendment man so far nothing has happened but what was the reaction from the sri lankan uh, president whether he is really keen to uh, go for amendment or just given some kind of excuses in today's meeting the prime minister discussed this with president rajapakse and um, he took it up and they discussed it at some length so we on our side have urged upon president rajapakse that it is important for the well being of the tamils in sri lanka that the 13th amendment be implemented and that it's also important for it to go beyond so we are hopeful that this request that is coming from prime minister will be listened to and that sri lanka will take appropriate action as required one question we will I'll answer that one question at time yes no 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 please yeah yeah please only a teams yeah we last there and uh, although you have said uh, mr singh that you would not go into details it's not so much a detail as to whether in the matter of this conflict over fishermen which there are different perceptions but the predominant perception is that 
the fishermen from Tamil Nadu who stay beyond the Indian territorial waters and they are getting kind of picked up and gathered there and that is creating the problem. Has any kind of uh, agreement been arrived at or at least a broad understanding that we will prevent the Indian fishermen from straying beyond the territorial waters in search of fish because they are not finding it within our territorial waters. Is there any such understanding at least or a uh, tacit agreement that we will work towards this? Yes, of course. There was uh, agreement between the two leaders that we need a long-term solution towards this because the fishermen's issue is a livelihood issue whether it's for the Tam our Tamils or the Tamils in Sri Lanka. So they both agreed that this needed to be addressed and that we should encourage the fishermen's talks to go on ahead and we should try every means to find a solution. Dirti? Ma'am, I'm wondering, given this initiative and given the fact that the Prime Minister has accepted the invitation of the SARC leaders, uh, would a SARC country overtake Japan in hosting Mr. Modi? Why don't we wait and see? Yeah. Yes, sir. Just a minute. Uh, on the precedence as of now. Yeah, sure. Did, uh, did, uh, was that... Was there any talk of uh, continuation and expansion of military training programs for Sri Lankan personnel in India? Did that figure in the discussions at all? We, uh, look, we don't want to go into details, but there was generally an agreement to strengthen cooperation and to expand our cooperation in all the areas where we are interacting with each other. I presume we've exhausted the questions on this aspect. Okay, uh, we will then take in sequential order. If you have any questions on, let me finish. Let me answer and I think you won't raise your hand. Um, on Bhutan, Maldives, Mauritius, Nepal. There. Yes, Manish, thanks. Just a minute. <laughs> Pardon? No, actually, I thought you were calling but Pakistan. I'm sorry. Yeah, we will, we will come to that certainly. Yeah, sure. You are a free individual. You can skip any time you want. If we skipped, you would say backtracked. But uh, you are free to skip. Anyone else? Okay. Now we have on the last two uh, meetings, which is Pakistan and Bangladesh. Yes, uh, Nidhi? Ma'am, you mentioned uh, that the foreign secretaries of the two countries uh, are going to be in touch. Uh, if I could ask you, uh, what will, how exactly will they be in touch? Will there be a meeting? Uh, can, can we assume that this is the FS level talks resuming? Or are they going to meet or talk uh, to look at a roadmap forward on resuming the dialogue? What does it mean exactly? Nidhi, it means exactly what it says. It means that the foreign secretaries will be in touch to look at the way forward. So we can be in touch through our foreign offices, we can meet, and then we can see how best to continue this conversation. Yeah, um, no maybe dates. only one question. Uh -huh. um, yes, Maha? So when India raised the issue of terror in 2611, what was the response from Pakistan? Oh. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Yeah, if you want, ask me, I'll answer it. Like, we are not the official spokespersons of the Pakistan Foreign Office. We can only give our version of it. And lest you will, uh, somebody say that we distort the thing. So please understand, we will answer questions related to us. Yes, um, yes, sir, ma'am. My question is, when Nawaz Sharif talked about 2611, you said that there was a discussion. Did you talk about Dawud Ibrahim's issue on that issue? And did Nawaz Sharif invite the Indian PM to go to Narendra Modi in Pakistan? There is no plan to go to Narendra Modi. One question. Which question do you want to ask? First one. Second one. No, no, first one. That's fine. Always the first. Second, from my side, what? One after one, please. Next time, we'll give you a chance. Don't worry. It's not going anywhere. देखिए आप इतने डिटेल में पूछने से मैं जवाब नहीं दे सकती हूँ क्योंकि मैं तो आपको रिकॉर्ड ऑफ डिस्कशंस 
नहीं शेयर कर रही हूँ बहुत सारे चीज़ डिस्कस हुए थे और टेररिज्म के मारे में बात भी हुई थी मगर उससे ज़्यादा मैं नहीं बोलना चाहती हूँ यस रंजीत डिड एनी साइड रेज द इश्यू ऑफ अर्ली रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ द डिस्प्यूटेड डिस्प्यूट रिगार्डिंग जम्मू एंड कश्मीर डिस्प्यूट रिगार्डिंग द फॉरन सेक्रेटरीज आर गोइंग टू बी इन टच टू सी द बेस्ट वे फॉरवर्ड या नो यस सीमा let me speak foreign secretary as both the prime ministers are very keen on trade and all that was there any question or was there any promise from nawar sharif about giving india most favored uh, huh? yeah. nation status well you know it's now ndma right non differentiated market access so uh, yes there was a discussion on trade there was uh, a keen Yes, yes. There was discussion on trade, and uh, we noted that we were fully ready to normalize trade and economic relations. And both prime ministers expressed their interest in having this done as early as possible. Sachin, I mean, the meeting with the Bangladesh speaker uh, did the okay, Bangladesh. Okay, are we moving on now? Okay, yeah. I thought. Yeah. Anyone else who wants to finish this part? Then we come to Bangladesh. Let's go one by one. Yes. Here. One minute. One minute. Madam Daud, के विषय पे आपने कहा कि डिटेल नहीं बोलना चाहेंगे आप क्या हम ये माने कि प्रधानमंत्री पहली मुलाकात में ये विषय उठाना भूल गए हैं? देखिए आप कुछ नहीं मान सकते मैं तो सिर्फ ये कह रही हूँ कि आपको कि मैं डिटेल्स नहीं देना चाहती हूँ। क्योंकि ये तो सारे कॉन्फिडेंशियल मीटिंग्स हैं और अगर आपको वर्ड पर वर्ड दिखाऊं कि क्या डिस्कस हुआ तो फिर ये कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी की क्या बात होती है पहले Foreign Secretary Pallav Bagla from the Science Magazine and NDTV. Uh, my question is a little different. In amidst all this talk on terror and uh, trade, etc., was there any discussion on this specter of a drought, which is going to hit both Pakistan and India because of this developing El Nino and the below normal monsoon, which is expected, uh, or all was discussed only terror or what? What happened on this? Was this raised? I can assure you that uh, more was discussed besides terror, but I'm sorry that we didn't discuss El Nino. Maybe the next time. Yes, yes, ma'am. Um, hi, I'm Shamantha. I'm from Reuters. Um, I think someone asked earlier about Kashmir, and you said the two secretaries would be in touch. But could you tell us clearly if it was discussed at this meeting, and if so, what views did India express? I think India's views on Jammu and Kashmir are very well known already. I don't need to reiterate them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Uh, only question from Bloomberg News on trade ties. You said you're ready to uh, fully normalize trade ties. What next in terms of concrete action, or was just a statement of intent? You are aware that the roadmap was drawn up as far back as 2012, right? And the next step that needs to be taken is for Vaga Atari to be opened up to full trade. That's the next step. <coughs> After that, then the other steps will follow. Yes, sir. Ma'am, I want to know what will happen to the Prime Minister. निकट भविष्य में पाकिस्तान की यात्रा पर जाएंगे और जैसा आपने कहा कि इनविटेशन एक्सटेंड किया गया है और डेट्स वर्कआउट की जा रही हैं दिस अप्लाइज टू पाकिस्तान आल्सो देखिए ये इनविटेशंस तो आए हैं और इनविटेशंस तो एक्सेप्ट भी किए हैं मगर कोई डेट्स नहीं है आपको ये नहीं कह सकती हूँ कि अगले महीने होगा या अगले साल होगा क्योंकि डेट्स को वर्कआउट करनी है यस yes, सर
Uh, I'm Khalil Hashmi from uh, Mainichi Newspapers. Uh, which kind of impression uh, Indian Prime Minister got by the answers of Nawaz Sharif? I mean, uh, were those, I uh, mean, his answer was satisfactory or not <laughs> to him? You know, as I said, and this is why I made it very clear that all the meetings were held in a very friendly and cordial atmosphere. Yes. मैडम मेरा सवाल पाकिस्तान से रिलेटेड है क्या आप जिस तरीके से आपने बताया है उससे ऐसा लग रहा है कि टेररिज्म को लेकर के पाकिस्तान की तरफ से जो भी बातें कहेंगे भारत उससे बहुत खुश है और व्यापार शुरू होने वाला है क्या हम ये मान करके चलें कि अब जो है बातचीत की शुरुआत जो है हो चुकी है मुझे आपका सवाल समझ में नहीं आ रहा है ये प्राइम मिनिस्टर नवाज शरीफ आए हैं आज बात भी हो चुकी है तो आप ये क्यों पूछ रहे हैं कि बात शुरू होने वाली है उसके बारे में मैं बात कर रहा हूं क्या उसको हम मान करके चलें कि अब जो आतंकवाद को लेकर के पाकिस्तान का रुख था और आज जो बातचीत हुई उससे भारत सरकार खुश है और व्यापार शुरू होने जा रहा है जी ये सब तो मैं नहीं कह रही हूं मैं सिर्फ ये कह रही हूं कि फॉरेन सेक्रेटरीज विल मीट एंड डिस्कस द वे फॉरवर्ड तो उससे ज्यादा आप जो सोचना चाहते हैं आप सोचिए मगर मैं ये नहीं कह रही हूं एनी Uh, yeah, uh, no, you finish your question. Manish? Uh, Foreign Secretary, I just want to know whether the attack on the Indian consulate in Afghanistan was discussed between the leaders of India and Pakistan, and is it possible to share what is the response of the other side? My friends, this is the third time you are asking me the question, and for the third time I'll give you the same answer, which is that it it which is it is not i i do not intend to tell you in detail what was discussed between the prime minister and his interlocutors it is not the practice to go into the detailed aspects of these conversations aapne to pooch liya anyone who hasn't asked nahi acha the mic मैम पूरी इस बातचीत के बूट से क्या आप सेफली कह सकते हैं और सेफली एज्यूम हम कर सकते हैं कि भारत और पाकिस्तान अब दोस्ती का हाथ बढ़ाकर आगे बढ़ना चाहते हैं पिछली जितनी भी कड़वाहट है उनको भूल के आगे बढ़ना चाहते हैं देखिए वी वॉन्ट peaceful and friendly relations with pakistan however for such relations to proceed it is important that terror and violence is brought to an end संतोष मैम अभी आपने कहा कि प्रधानमंत्री जी नेपाल जाने की इच्छा उन्होंने जताई है इस साल तो ये क्या सिंबॉलिक है कि वो हिंदू राष्ट्र सिर्फ अपनी यात्रा की शुरुआत वहीं से करना चाहता है विदेशी यात्रा की हिंदू <laughs> पहले तो हिंदू राष्ट्र तो नहीं है सेक्युलर बन गई है छह साल पहले टू में और दूसरी चीज है कि सार्क समिट होने वाली है नवम्बर में तो जहां भी सार्क समिट होंगे तो फिर प्रधानमंत्री तो जाएंगे ही एनी वन एल्स यस जयंत नोडली सैटिस्फाइड विद आंसर्स फ्रॉम प्राइम मिनिस्टर शरीफ ऑन 26-11 मुंबई ट्रायल कंसिडरिंग यू सेट द मीटिंग डील द मीटिंग वाज वेरी कंस्ट्रक्टिव both sides were trying to address each other's concerns let me put it that way we know what each other's concerns are they know what our concerns are and they were trying to address them more than that i don't want to say 
ओके सचिन ऑन बांग्लादेश was there any mention of the land boundary agreement uh, the need to settle the agreement by bangladesh side and if yes what was the response of prime minister modi thanks uh yes the speaker of bangladesh parliament did raise it and then uh, our prime minister responded by saying let's see dekhenge gautam well uh, ma'am bangladesh speaker has invited prime minister to visit dhaka and whether he has accepted that invitation um uh, yes the bangladesh speaker did invite our prime minister on behalf of prime minister sheikh hasina to visit bangladesh and our prime minister has accepted the invitation Ma'am, did Tista issue uh, was raised here? Tista was raised uh, during the talks, and what was the response of the Prime Minister? The Tista issue was raised, and the Prime Minister said that we'll see how we can look at it. Yes. Uh, given our Prime Minister's campaign during elections, just wanted to know: Did the issue of infiltration come up during these discussions? you know um we talked about all the various areas including people to people contacts the fact that you have a uh, very good cooperation between our two countries in a host of sectors including in um power in connectivity road and transport and all the other areas including uh, the numerous Uh, issues that we have in common in terms of shared history and culture so we discussed the entire broad gamut of of issues uh, including border management okay i think with that we will come to the end of this interaction thank you very much for all being here thank you विदेश मंत्रालय की तरफ से प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस जिसमें नवाज शरीफ से मुलाकात के साथ साथ सार्क देशों के नेताओं से जो मुलाकात हुई उसके बारे में डिटेल मीडिया के साथ शेयर की जा रही थी आपको बता दें पीएमओ में काम संभालने के बाद मोदी आज नवाज शरीफ से मुलाकात के साथ साथ उन्होंने सार्क देशों के राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्षों से भी मुलाकात की और ऐसे में यह कहना गलत नहीं है कि भारत की बहुमत वाली सरकार से पड़ोसी देशों की उम्मीदें भी अब बढ़ गई हैं बहरहाल लेकिन सबसे महत्वपूर्ण मुलाकात रही नवाज शरीफ के साथ जहां आतंकवाद का मुद्दा उठाया गया प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी की तरफ से साथ ही इस मामले में तेजी लाने की बात भी उनके साथ की गई पाक जमीन से चलने वाले आतंकी कैंप के बारे में भी चर्चा की गई और साथ ही पाकिस्तान को याद दिलाया गया कि वो आतंकवाद पर किए गए अपने वादे पर कायम रहे और उस वादे को जल्द से जल्द पूरा करे इसके साथ ही आतंकवाद के साथ साथ भारत पाक व्यापार का मुद्दा भी उठाया गया और भारत पाक के साथ व्यापार बढ़ाने पर भी जोर दिया गया तो फिलहाल ये लगातार डिटेल सामने आ रही है मीडिया के साथ शेयर की गई ये सारी इंफॉर्मेशन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स विदेश मंत्रालय की तरफ से की गई प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में कि आज की इस मुलाकात में किन किन मुद्दों पर क्या क्या बात हुई